Hi, everybody. All right, so we're doing a couple of things this video. We're, one, we're going to start off running some coax. So, Vans RVs, or at least this RV, uh, you need a lot of coax material. Why? Because you got five antenna. Well, for full IFR platform, you're going to have at least five antenna. Right, I got two for comms, uh, COM1, COM2. I've got one for the transponder, so I got my ADSB. Uh, well, plus normal transponder. I've got my WASH GPS for my WASH unit, and I've got a regular GPS for the G3X system. Right, that's V. That is VFR GPS. So that's five. I've thought about putting a couple of ancillary ones. Uh, they're so ridiculous. I'm not even going to mention it. Uh, so what we've got is we've got some RG. There you go. There's a nice look at that. You know what everyone needs a spool of? RG400 coax. So I'm running both of these to the back. The idea is that the GPS antenna for the G3X and the WASH GPS antenna for the GNX375 radio is going to be the top of the tail cone. Now, a couple videos back, I showed you putting in the... Uh, making the doublers and drilling holes at the top. A little caveat to that. Uh, so the doublers that I was showing you actually go on the inside of the tail cone, right? They don't sit on the outside, they go on the inside. I never mentioned that correctly, and I should have, so a little correction for me. But yeah, so so we've got the doublers in place, we know we're going to mount everything, so now it's time to cut and move some wire around. So uh, Matthew, our club mechanic, just happens to have uh, a dealer account with a certain wire seller so he sold me some coax thank you matthew about half the price of spruce too which is good rg400 that's i mean that's the high quality stuff so we're running it down the left center channel of the fuselage down the back so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the baggage wall we're going to go to the next bulkhead to the back uh, that also happens to be where the static lines are we're going to go around one of the bulkheads where the static lines are up to the top and then bring them forward because there just happens to be a stiffening rib in between that bulkhead and the baggage bulkhead. And the antenna are going to be on either side of that, so we just need to have two different lengths of cable. And I tried to approximate them. I mean, I still cut. Actually, I didn't do too bad. I think we. I think I wound up having about. I don't know, three, maybe four feet of waste. I mean, you don't want to be too short. That that just that's not an option with coax. Okay, so that's what you see me doing for the moment. All right, so uh, let's see. We got some more updates. Oh yeah, that's right. I promised a rant against people with toe rings. Well, people, I see. It better be women. I, look, I have never seen a dude with a toe ring. Uh, although saying that, my wife and I were at a hipster wedding earlier. Uh, later last year. And now that I think about it, I'm surprised that it didn't swap toe rings. Oh, God. Look, I don't have anything to say. You're glorifying what is the ugliest part of the human body. Stop it right now. Alright, that's enough of that. So, what we're getting into now is something... It's one of those things that I've sort of stopped myself from doing because it's kind of a commitment thing. You can see I've got the big old ice chest underneath the fuselage, a couple pieces of wood. We're about to remove the rotisserie. And we are going to put on the engine mount. And get your little crackola at the same time. See, look, second ugliest thing, I show it to you all the time. Imagine if I was walking around in flip-flops. <laughs> I'm sorry. There I am just doing a little extra re-reaming just to make sure. So I hadn't reamed those holes yet and I, was wait I wasn't going to do it until uh, I was ready to put the engine mount on. But there it is. Look at that. How sweet it is. Matthew's there. Yeah, it looks really good. So one thing I have noticed, um, I think there's like 
maybe seven inches between the engine mounts and the firewall. Now I went and I measured one of our Cessnas and there's like a foot plus easily. Actually, um, our arrow. So we just took the engine mount off of our arrow for the club because we're having the engine uh, overhauled. Which is always nice. It's a nice $27,000 check I have to write. But, you know, it's I'm looking at it going, God, there's like there's like 17 inches between the firewall and the damned engine mounts. On my, you know, I get nothing. Vance, would it have killed you to extend the tail an extra foot so I could have had a little more room between the engine mount? <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I called this the engine mount. We really didn't start it. Uh, next week we'll get a little bit more into it. Have a good fourth weekend, everybody. Happy birthday, America. Love you. Talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye.